Here to talk about the state of the economy and the market, Brian Jacobson, Chief Economist with Annex Wealth Management. Brian, good to talk to you today. First, will you share your gut reaction when this data came in this morning? Yeah, it was a little bit of kind of shock and awe, almost like disbelief, especially that ADP number about 497,000. You know, I was expecting to see a little bit of moderation there. Uh, now, I, I, I do have to say that then some of the other data, like the initial unemployment claims, some of the JOLTS data, those were a little bit more in line with expectations. So it was really an ADP one that uh, really stuck out like a sore thumb. I, I, I... I understand that you're really looking skeptically at uh, consumer spending and at uh, especially the travel and leisure sector when it comes to the contribution to the overall economy. Yeah, that's correct. And so like the ADP numbers, if you look at some of the details, the biggest contributor there was uh, leisure and hospitality. And there's only so much heavy lifting that the leisure and hospitality industry can do to keep the broader economy from seeing negative growth. You know, look at the uh, almost alligator jaws kind of shape that is developed between the ISM services and the ISM manufacturing. Just historically, how this is typically resolved is that manufacturing finds a bottom, but services also finds a top. And then you get that gap to begin to close. And unfortunately, because of how big service sector uh, activity is, you ultimately end up with eventually a recession. But we've been on recession watch for, what, over a year now. And, and are you still on it? Do you still think it's going to happen? And I guess the more pointed question is, how much more do you think the Fed will need to raise interest rates to get that last mile from 4% down to 2%, which is their target? How much more will they need to do that, uh, raise to do that? And will that, therefore, then occasion a recession? Yeah, so here at Annex on our investment committee, we do think that the Fed is probably, you know, hell-bent on hiking, uh, if I can say that, and they're probably going to hike in July. Now, the bigger question now is whether or not they need to do additional hiking. We do still get the inflation numbers uh, next week, so on July 12th, on Wednesday, we're going to get the numbers. If that's showing, say, a 3% year-on-year, that might make it where they only really maybe need to do one more. And uh, really, the messaging now is about how long do they need to hold where they are as opposed to contemplating like another series of successive hikes. So as long as we don't see the Fed pushing towards, say, 6% with the Fed funds rate, we think that we can continue with this roving recession where it was manufacturing and housing to somewhat of a stumbling recovery where you see a little bit more stability and perhaps growth out of manufacturing and housing while services merely slows instead of actually coming to a grinding halt. All right, Brian, thank you very much. Brian Jacobson, we appreciate your time.